Hello students, let us continue with the DSP class. Uh, today I will just cover up a small portion called as a circular representation of DF. Hmm? Let us take that. Circular representation of DFT. Let us take a signal uh, X of N, simple signal X of N, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. We try to represent it in modulo N representation. We represent it like this x of n x of n around that n this is called as modulo n representation modulo n representation because the signal is repeating itself when you are bringing it into time domain we try to represent this as modulo n or circular representation how exactly we represent it? Just very simple. Try to put a circle. Hmm? Try to put a circle. This is obviously n equal to 4, isn't it? Because 4 signals are there. n equal to 4. Hmm? Try to divide it 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hmm? Represent it clockwise. There are uh, different text follows different uh, uh, steps here but I just take the anti-clockwise uh, representation okay x0 x1 x2 and x3 x0 x1 x2 x3 that means 1 2 3 and 4 hmm? this is the representation I just put the signal around the, a circle in the clockwise direction. Okay, reading also in the same way. Now, uh, see this circularly represented signal. Whatever is there, no? I try to shift it. Hmm? It is called as circular shifting. Circular shifting. What exactly is circular shifting? You see, now given signal I represent it as circular fashion or circular manner or modulo n manner now x of n minus 2 n what exactly is this new signal hmm? what exactly is this new signal see uh, what I am trying to do is I just represent this and shift it circularly by 2 this is nothing but the meaning of x n minus 2 hmm? means shift signal circularly circularly or around the circle by how many units two units that's all hmm? just see now what i do now this is zeroth first second third fourth okay now i i just what i do this is the first position this is the second position i shift how many units two units because x of n minus 2 first shifting second shifting that means your x not come to this point hmm? that means i write it as x not x1 x2 and x3 now this came to the zeroth position hmm? anyway x not is how much x not is 1 x1 is 2 this is 3 this is 4 now how i will read it 3 4 1 2 starting is here only starting is here only now what is the new signal new signal or x of n minus 2 is nothing but 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 and 2 okay i hope you understood how exactly i am shifting hmm? very simple uh, whatever signal is given now how many times shifting this is the zeroth position 1 and 2 start writing the signal at that point hmm? 1 2 3 4 and read it from the starting hmm? this is how circular shifting takes place hmm? i hope uh, you understood this circular shifting the second concept whatever required is folding hmm? folding 
we call it as a folding. What exactly is folding? See, now the given signal, whatever is there, no? I completely uh, take it into the negative time domain. That means, uh, what exactly is signal x of minus n? That is the question. Okay, x of minus n, that is the question. See, representing x of minus n is simply write the signal around the circle in anti-clockwise direction. That's all. And read it in the clockwise way. See now? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what happened? You are folding the signal or you are representing x of minus n. How to do that? Write in the anti-clockwise direction. x0, x1, x2, x3 or this is nothing but 1, 2, 3 and 4. But please keep it in right, uh, mind that you are reading in this manner. That means what is the new signal x of minus n? This new signal x of minus n is 1, 4, 3 and 2. 1, 4, 3, 2. Hmm? This is how you will uh, get the folded signal or it is also called as inverted signal. Okay, 1, 4, 3, 2. Hmm? Folding, this is called as folding. How you are doing? Writing it in the anti-clockwise direction, read it in the clockwise direction. There is another easy way to do this. Hmm? Easy way to do this because this comes frequently. That's why you should know how exactly to fold a given signal. See, now what is given? X of n is 1, 2, 3, 4. Isn't it? I want to fold that signal. X of minus n. I want to write X of minus n. How to do that? Very easy. First, this is the zeroth signal, isn't it? First, what do you do? Write the zeroth signal, 1. Hmm? Then, then please see that, write starting from the other end, hmm? 4, 3, 2, that's all. 4, 3, 2. This is how folding takes place. First, write the first signal hmm? and then read it from the other end. Hmm? Read it from the other end, like this. Obviously, I hope you got what I am doing. First, you are writing the first signal, then 4, 3, 2. Hmm? This is how hmm? uh, folding is written. Hmm? Similarly, shifting can be done in the fold or uh, regarding folding signal also. This is how the circular representation takes place. This is a very important uh, property, okay? Very important property which one should understand. Uh, if any doubts are there in the representation, circular representation of a given DFT signal or given signal, you can uh, contact me regarding this. Hmm? This uh, point, if you are not getting no further understanding regarding different uh, solutions is not at all possible. Hence, please see to that you uh, are confident about uh, circular representation of a DFT. Okay? Hence, you go through this video very seriously. Uh, whatever assignment I am just, uh, just, just, I, I just give you now an assignment here only. Assignment is x of n is equal to 1, 2, uh, minus 1, 3, 4. Hmm? Okay, I want you to x of n minus n minus 2 hmm? x of n plus 1 hmm? x of minus n plus 1 x of minus n minus 1 ok x of minus n minus 1 try at least I want you to try this hmm? as well as another one x of minus n hmm? I want you to try at least this Hmm? And 2, 3, 4 and 5. I want you to give me the answer hmm? at least for first and fifth one. Hmm? Rest I will solve and send you. You also can try. Hmm? But these are compulsory for you to solve this two, first and fifth points whatever I have denoted. Hmm? Okay, thank you. Uh, let us go ahead continuously with this uh, 
classes okay i will not stop here onwards because we are lagging as well as the time is you know, moving fast thank you